filter. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. We're back again with Sister Marlene, and we're going to take off where we left off. Go on, Marlene. Yes, it's, excuse me. Just as, you know, we were saying, we were talking about um, a relationship, you know, yes. with Christ and, you know, walking in the spirit. And mm -hmm. it's just like um, your parents, when you love your parents and, you know, you don't want to disappoint your parents. It's the same way as a relationship with Christ. You That's know? right. He's done so much for us and he's been so mer merciful to us. You know, you just don't want to disappoint or we shouldn't. That's we right. We should feel that way. That's right. We don't want to disappoint him. You know, and a lot of times, you know, we when we uh, walk in the flesh, that's what we see, mm -hmm. as opposed to walking in the spirit. Right. So what what we're walking in is going to be manifested through our behavior. That's so right. A lot of times we we remain stagnant in our walk with the Lord because you know we're not doing these things. Mm -hmm. We're not praying. We're not fasting. We're not applying the Word of God to our life. Right. And it becomes stale. And what happens to stagnant water? That's right. What happens to that stagnant water? Okay. It stands. It starts collecting bacteria. The elements in the air start spoiling it. You start getting lar larvae and, and, and mosquitoes start popping through those babies. And next thing you know, that water smells so bad. Woo, you don't even want to be near it. You sure can drink it. And that's what mm -hmm. happens to our spirits. Right. And yeah. So, we get ugly. You know, it's um it's uh it's so so important, you know, that we understand there's no money. That's right. There's no relationship, there's nothing in That's this right. world that should be more important than your soul and your salvation. And That's right. we, we want to spend our eternity because ultimately it should be everyone's goal to you know, to live this life so that that's the most important thing. Yes. Living this life today now so that we will be worthy of living again. Exactly, exactly. And that means overcoming the flesh because mm -hmm. the enemy, Satan, is relentless. Yes, he yes. Is. He's relentless. You can say that again. There's a scripture that talks about how, you know, when you get saved, then uh, all of a sudden he's forced out of his house and the house oh. is you, you yes. and me. Because, um, yeah. And, um, and when he's forced out, he, it, because it's all swept and garnished, he's looking around. He wants to get back in. He's in torment mm -hmm. when he's not uh, operating right. in the body. So he goes and gets seven others worse and stronger than he is so they can work and weasel their way back in you. And then the right. condition of you is seven times worse. Right, yeah. You can't play with so, that. You can't play no. with it. it is, it's really nothing nothing to play with um mm -mm. and a lot of times we'll find ourselves just feeling that we're okay and everybody will say hey you're fine you're not that bad that's right and you'll say you know what you're right i'm not that bad that's right but you... see that's why mm -hmm. when if you read the word of god that's the holy spirit will start convicting you yes because something that you will have said or to offend someone or something to your wife or to your husband that you shouldn't have said mm -hmm. you'll read a scripture about taming the tongue that's you'll, right you'll read a scripture about something pertaining to what you've done to convict you and that's how the lord communicates yes he does so if you're not reading and you're not taking the time to do these things nothing is going to change in your life that's right it, it just you're just going to remain the way you are. Exactly. Ex you know what? Even a car has to change its oil. Right. Yeah. Or the oil is yeah. black and nasty and it messes with the engine and the whole workings. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we have to get a refreshing. We have to get many in fillings. We have to constantly go back to the source, to God. Right. Or else we yeah. get nasty and ugly and full of soot and Dirty all over again. And, you know, it's so easy to tickle the ears of, of people. Yes. It's so easy to say things that, you know, that everything is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? Everything that I say, I'm going to be held accountable for. That's right. Everything that we say, we're going to be held accountable for. Mm -hmm. So it's so important for us in this 
use evil and end time to tell the truth, you know, yes. to tell the truth about people. Because sometimes people just, you know, just are being told that everything is just going to be okay. Right. No matter what you do. Right. There's no consequence for anything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's no work and salvation, but it is. It's it work. is. It's not as... People don't, aren't telling that. People, right. A lot of times they're not saying, you know, those that have platforms aren't warning people about it. You right. Know? Hey, this is what you need. It's not easy. It, it will hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but change hurts. Just like right, a trainer. It it, it's, Building it's up muscle, it hurts. Right. Right. But look at what you get in the end. Yes. And then, you know, you'll look and you'll see all those fruits of the spirit. That's how it grows when you see that spirit. That's when right. When you do those things. And then this peace will come and permeate. And then... Ooh. The whole world could be falling apart around you, and you won't. You, you're not safe. You'd be you're mellow like, okay, as a chiller. Yeah, it's okay. And no matter what, I always have a wonderful day. Right. I don't care what is going on because I have salvation. Right. And I know the Lord. He knows me. Mm -hmm. So that's always a wonderful day, no matter what, even in spite of what may have happened. That's right. And everything is not always honky dory. But That's guess right. what? It's how you 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 take and how you handle those things. Yes. So, you know, I don't let the things that happen dictate my behavior or my at my um uh uh my emotions and how I'm feeling. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, try to focus on the glory of the Lord. Right. And then you you you're you're because those things come and go. There's a scripture that says he will keep you in perfect peace if right. you keep then, your mind stayed on him. I'm a witness to it. Right. Because the peace is just unreal. Yes, it's it like, is. You know, when you're in the world, you just heard of it. Yeah, you so don't know what it is. You don't know. <laughs> no, no, you don't know what it is. But when you, you know, when you, uh, when you learn some things and you wake up out of your stupor, mm -hmm. it's like, whoa, this mm -hmm. is what I've been missing. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's absolutely right. You know, that's why we walk with the Lord. There's an mm -hmm. old song that says, if heaven never was promised to me, neither God's promise to live eternally, it's been worth just having the Lord in my life. Living in a world of darkness, he brought me the light. Now listen, when God brings you light, he's getting yeah. rid of the darkness out of your heart. He drives the, the depression, the anger, all that old nasty stuff. He's getting it out of you. And you're finding yeah. yourself feeling lighter and lighter. And life is so much more worth living because you get mm -hmm. to enjoy his peace. You get to enjoy his supernatural joy. You get to mm -hmm. enjoy the presence of his Holy Spirit. He visits right. you at times and you realize God has come to keep me company. You feel his mm -hmm. presence in your living room or you feel it at church or you feel you it in your car and it is so beautiful when you know God is there if I died today or tomorrow and it turned out that there wasn't a heaven I'm, I'm just saying I'm just saying okay <laughs> do you know it would still be worth it to me because he made my life the quality right. of my right. life so much better in my present reality and yes, mm -hmm. I want to be with my husband when I go on to be with the Lord. I want to enjoy all of that. But what I'm really saying to you is maybe because different people get saved for different reasons. I got saved because I was tired. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. And at mm -hmm. the time I told the Lord, I don't even believe in heaven or hell. But when I, once I walked with the Lord and read his word and heard his word and understood and he gave me dreams and all of that, I know heaven is real now. Mm -hmm. But when I got saved, I didn't get saved for heaven and I didn't get saved to escape hell. I got saved because of me. I needed a change. Mm -hmm. I needed to know what real peace was. I right. needed something going on internally that meant something that made life worth living so 
Some of you are getting saved to escape hell. Some of you are getting saved to go to heaven. Well, now I feel like as long as I'm walking with the Lord, it's a given. I'm going to be in heaven. So I'm not worried about heaven. But my here and now is my focus. And all the issues I went through in my life watching my husband die was one of the most glorious times. Man, you wouldn't think that would be glorious. But the mm -hmm. Lord visited us and there was so much love between us going through those last 33 days that mm -hmm. it was, a, there were moments of enrichment. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. It's hard to explain the difference that God makes in your life. But some of you can watch somebody die and you'll be pulling your hair out at the roots. Hi, why? How could this be happening? No, 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 no. But God can take a situation as ugly, yes, as can. dark, as heart wrenching as that and turn it yep. into a moment of beauty and serenity yeah, and love. Yeah, That's the difference God makes, you guys. A huge difference. Woo. And that's why you're able, no matter what, to sleep. Yes. Peacefully. Yes. If he calls me home tomorrow, Hello. I'm okay. But Hello. prior to getting saved and getting, you know, okay. learning about the Lord and building a relationship with mm. him, I, I was like, oh, mo terror struck me when I thought of death. I'm like, mm. oh, but now I'm like, no, it, I'm not afraid of anything. Exactly, I'm not either. Because your Psalm 91 is my my favorite. Me too. <laughs> yes, Psalm 91, and that is powerful. Yes. And he means it. Yes. And I've seen it manifest in my life. So mm -hmm. you know, people, we just we just have to have to get it right. Try. Yes. Start, you know, setting goals, our spiritual goals. Say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go get one of those How to Read the Bibles in a Year, um, the New Testament. So you can get some grounding. Because a lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, like in a lot of the religions, you know, when we go to church, you know, you don't, we don't even read the word. I know. We don't even understand what it is, how to live. I know. How I know. Should love, the man should love his wife as Christ loves the church. And, you know, you know, just the woman submitting to her husband and just different things and that, you know, that teaches us how to live. And makes life how so much holy. easier. It does. It really does. And see, what, and I used to think when I was younger, I said, you know what? I, I said the Bible was a bunch of rules and regulations that couldn't nobody live by. I'm like, that's too much. But those are written so that you won't walk in the path of the enemy. That's right. Because See, when you're out there fornicating, when you're out there, that's when all that pain comes in. Right. When somebody, you, you didn't gave yourself to someone and he didn't call you back. Right. You're feeling like the loneliest person in the world. That's when right. You, when you love the Lord, that validation that he gives you, you value yourself. And, and you don't like, submit you know to that nonsense. No, I'm not doing that. That's no, right. But that's, you know, what we're not doing. Right. We're not opening up that world so mm -hmm. we can get that understanding because he'll so he'll 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 send the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with love. Yes. He'll yes. fill that void of loneliness. That's right. When you pray and you say, Lord, I don't want to do this anymore. Change my heart and change me. He does. You 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 may not see it instantaneously. But he but does. if you don't waver and you stand fast and you try, not saying that, you know, take the number out of your phone. That's right. Whatever That's you right. You do your part. That's you right. Yeah, do your part. You have to do your part. That's right. Take the number out of your phone. And you know what? Just uh, give the Lord a try. Mm -hmm. Give him a try. We, you give a man enough try. That's and right. Thank you. Broken, hurt people hurt other people. Oh, you can say that again, girl. Oh. And, you know, when you, the only perfect being is Christ. Mm -hmm. That's where you're gonna find that unconditional love that that's, that's right. gonna teach you how to be the woman of God that's that right. you were created, or that's the man right. of God that you were created to be. Mm -hmm. To love your wife, to love your husband, you know. So. That's right. Now you guys take that to heart. Don't play, and you won't pay. You take it to heart. God has a whole new program, a whole new plan for us. And if we walk according to his plan, 
that his purpose for our life will unfold. We will blossom Amen. like the most beautiful rose and you'll amaze yourself when you see all that the Holy Spirit can do within you way beyond your own ability and you'll know it too and everyone else will know it, but you'll be the first. God bless you. Be encouraged. Marlene, thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much. Oh, yes, you will. Definitely. We're going to do this again and again because I believe a lot of people get more help from a conversation than they might from a sermon. Right. So right. knowing that people learn from different in different ways, we want to give mm -hmm. them every possible aspect we can give, every facet mm -hmm. of the gospel yeah. that can be given. God bless mm -hmm. you, Sister Marlene. And you guys. Thank you. God bless you. That's thank well. you. Now, ho hold on. I'm not done. But you guys, thank you so much. You walk in love. You walk in God's ways. And you will reap benefits. Read Psalms 103. Don't forget the benefits of God. Oh, he's got some fringe benefits, you guys. Check him out. God bless you.